In a recent survey conducted, 63% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Only 39% of Americans have more than $1,000 in their emergency fund. What happens if there's an emergency and you need a lot of money? Is your emergency fund ready for that? Today, I'm going to talk about all things emergency funds, why you need one and how to start one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alice. Welcome back to Money with Alice, where we talk about all things personal finance, investing, and more. Today, we're going to talk about all things emergency funds. Quick agenda today, we're going to talk about why you need an emergency fund, how much you actually need to save in that emergency fund, and how to get started with saving. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out any future videos. And I heard that if you subscribe, you actually get 10 years of good luck. So all the more reasons to do it. Quickly, let's go over what an emergency fund actually is. So an emergency fund, as the name implies, is something that you use in case of emergency, something when you have a lot of unexpected cash needs all of a sudden, like maybe you have a really large car repair you need to do, maybe your house broke down, you need to fix your roof, maybe you have a really large medical bill that you need to pay off, or what about unemployment? Although I hope this doesn't happen to any of us, sometimes situations like this can arise and you need to figure out how you can actually float yourself for the next couple of months while you deal with the tough situations. So that's what the emergency fund is for. So for the 63% of Americans who don't have a savings account and live paycheck to paycheck, this is a huge problem because when this cash need happens, there's nowhere for them to go for cash. They don't have an emergency fund. So what happens? So when you don't have an emergency fund, likely you'll be going to your credit card or some sort of short term for a loan to float you for that cash. But credit cards and these short term loans don't come cheap. They're super expensive. Their interest rates are really, really high. So what you end up having to do is pay back that interest at some point in the future for a really high rate, digging yourself into a really big hole and then you will really set yourself back financially for a little bit of time so it's really not a good situation to be in and that's where the emergency fund comes in to make sure that situations like this doesn't happen and we don't set ourselves back financially when emergency like this happens so that we can be prepared and we have that cash on hand to handle that situation to save for an emergency fund, what I recommend is having three to six months of living expenses saved up in the emergency fund. So how you could calculate that is think about your monthly fixed expenses. So things like rent, utility, do you have any mortgages, insurances, any other monthly expenses, subscriptions, maybe like your phone bill that you have to pay. That's part one. Second part is think about how much you usually spend for food, how much you usually spend for entertainment. And that's part two of your monthly expenses. Now add part one and part two to get your total monthly expenses. And then multiply that by three or by six to get how much you need for that three to six months saved up in order to float yourself in cases where you have an emergency. Now the best place to put your money in an emergency fund is somewhere where it's easily accessible. It's very liquid, meaning that you can take it out whenever you need it because you never know when the emergency happens. So you don't have any time to waste. In these situations, what I recommend is putting it in a high yield savings account because it'll generate a little bit higher interest than your regular savings account. But whenever you need that money, you can take it out immediately and spend it. What you don't want to be in is in a situation where you need that emergency fund ASAP and then you need to take some time to sell your investments in order for that cash to generate itself. So if you think about like putting your money into real estate, right? Like the investment is great, but in the case of an emergency, you need that money ASAP. And for a real estate investment, likely you'll have to take a little bit of time for your house to actually be sold in order for that cash to come back to you. But you don't have that luxury of time. So that's why with emergency funds, I recommend putting it into something a little more liquid, something where you can take out the money more quickly, uh, something like a high yield savings account. So that's why I recommend putting your money into a high yield savings account where you'll get a little bit of interest in exchange for putting your money there. But when you need the money, you can take it out almost immediately. If you haven't seen the video on high yield savings accounts yet, make sure to click that and check that out. I'll link it right here. The best time to start building that emergency fund is to start today. The earlier you start, the better. The earlier you start, the more time you have to save. 
So in order to get your emergency fund up and started, I recommend a couple steps. Step one is to calculate how much you'll actually need to save into your savings account. So this is what you need for your three to six months of living expenses. Step two is to figure out how much you want to save every single month into that savings account and in what time frame. Are you going to try to save everything up in one year, two years? Are you going to wire into that every week, every month, etc., etc.? Step three is to set up automatic monthly or bi-weekly direct deposits from your paycheck into your savings account or your savings account for the emergency fund. So what most employers can do with their paycheck is that your paycheck is actually sent via direct deposit. You can wire a portion to your direct deposit checkings account, and then you can direct deposit a portion of it to your savings account, which will be used for your emergency funds. This way, it's a no-brainer because you don't have to think about consciously wiring that money and doing that actual movement yourself. Everything is automatically done for you. Now, so that's what I recommend doing, setting up automatic wires so that when your paycheck hits, a portion of it automatically goes to your savings account, which is emergency funds usage. Another way to build up your emergency fund is to think about all these one-time cash flows that you get. So maybe for your birthday, you got like a $400, $500 check from your parents. Maybe you got a really good year in bonus or you got your tax returns. For those one-time cash flows that aren't really part of your monthly paycheck, rather than spending it, consider putting that into your emergency fund. It may not seem like a fun thing to do now, but your future self will thank you for it. In summary, today is the best day to start saving for your emergency fund if you haven't already. Make sure you have around three to six months of living expense saved up in that account and put that into something that's more liquid that you can take out the money immediately for, like a high yield savings account. Thanks for tuning into today's video. I hope you learned something about emergency funds. What are some of your best practices when it comes to saving up? If you have any comments, leave a comment in the below and share with the audience. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.